Hey there guys, it's Kim George here with Your Chic Geek and I want to welcome you to a brand spanking new video. So before we dive in, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. Um, I'm still um, in the process of working on the course <laughs> that I've been talking about. I know forever. I promise you guys it's coming. And um, But today I wanted to uh, make a video here really quickly to talk about a tool that has really been changing the game for me. And um, that tool has been other than chat GPT. And so what I wanted to do in this video is to take some time out to show you guys some different use cases and ways that you can use this tool to market your low content books. Now, um, I'm gonna be giving specific examples in different areas of marketing. So um, buckle up and let's get ready to rock. So what I'm gonna be using as the primary subject for today is we're gonna, I've created this fictitious journal and um, this is just a template that I'm using from Canva. So please don't copy this guys. <laughs> or we're gonna use this as our product that we're gonna be marketing, right? which is going to be a gratitude journal for kids ages four through eight. And so what I'm gonna do with this specific product as a low content book is ask ChatGPT, you know, how, what are some ways that we can market this book, okay? So let's go ahead and let's dive off into what we're gonna do. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am going to split this up into different areas of marketing, okay? And so these areas are going to be on Amazon itself, using social media, um, offline marketing, just to give you guys some ideas and some some things to kind of you know open up your minds into how you can really use it. Okay, so first up is Amazon. So how can we use ChatGPT to market our books and sell our books better on Amazon? One of the ways is coming up with engaging titles. So I know you guys probably overlook titles and think, ah, it's probably not all that important, but titles really are important. So how can you use ChatGPT for coming up with a title? Where well, here's how. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me some, some, some suggestions on book titles that we can use for this specific book. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prompt it. And I have already written down all of my prompts. I'm going to give you guys these prompts so you can go and use them as well. But I'm asking it, hey, give me three suggestions for a title for a gratitude journal for kids ages four through eight. And so let's see what it comes back with. All right, so Thankful Tots is one, Gratitude Adventures is one, and then Happy Hearts is one. So as you can see here, these are three titles that I could potentially use for my gratitude journal to kind of make it a little bit more engaging and give it something um, unique. Now, what I would suggest with anything that you're getting from this tool, especially when it comes to titles, is to make sure that you look them up, make sure there is no copyright infringements or anything like that on those titles so that you can move forward with using them for your book. All right, so along with titles, we also have book descriptions on Amazon. A book description can really, really, really help you convert more people into buying your book. So what can we use, uh, what can we prompt ChatGPT to help us come up with a book description on? So here is a prompt that we can use. I'm gonna ask it, hey, can you write me an engaging 150 word book description for a gratitude journal named XYZ with bullet points and a call to action. So you guys can see that I'm getting very, very, very specific here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the name uh, Happy Hearts. Okay, I'm going to give it that name. All right. So the name of the gratitude journal now is going to be Happy Hearts. And then so what I'm asking is, can you write a book description for me? All right. So a gratitude journal for kids ages, we'll do ages four through eight called Happy Hearts with bullets and a call to action. So let's ask it that. Okay, as you can see here, this book, this, this tool is giving me a really, really descriptive book description, right? For my book that I could use. You, it's putting in the bullet points, it's gonna give me a call to action, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Boom. So we're done. So here is a book description that I could use. And what you want to do is definitely go through the book description to make sure that everything is right, that um, is really catered towards the type of book that you have. If you know that you don't have inspiring quotes and affirmations, you can remove that and put something else. But you can see how powerful this can be. OK, so a third example for Amazon itself is going to be with 
coming up with little information and content that you can put over in your A plus content. So we know that A plus content has been a game changer. So here's an example here of A plus content that I found that I thought was really, really well made. And this is going to be for a maze book for children. Now here's an example of the content that I'm specifically focused on, which seems to be like a little bit of a product description not really a product description, but more of a post or some information or informational post about the product, but it's really engaging. And I think it really does sell this product. So what you can do over in ChatGPT is ask it to do the same for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this prompt that says, write an engaging 50 word post to promote a gratitude journal for kids ages four through eight called Happy Hearts. So we're going to do that and then we're gonna see what it's gonna come back with. So this is something that you guys can put into your actual A plus content to hopefully help uh, promote it. Now I know it's doing this, uh, the hashtags here, this is more for social media, but this is something that you could use potentially for your A plus content. So there's another idea. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over into the world of social media marketing and I'm gonna show you guys some specific use cases for this different social media uh, marketing platform. All right, now we've made it over into talking more about social media marketing. Okay, so now we're getting into the world of social media marketing. So what you wanna realize is that all social media markets are social media platforms are different. And so therefore you want to be um, aware of the different requirements for each one. But I'm gonna show you guys different use cases for uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So let's dive in. So first up is going to be Twitter. So again, we're gonna be marketing the gratitude journal for kids ages four through eight on Twitter. Now, Twitter has a character limit of 280 characters. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to create a 200, 200 character post for Twitter to promote my gratitude journal called Happy Hearts. And let's see what it comes back with. Okay, great. So it's help, it says, help your little ones cultivate a heart of full of gratitude with happy hearts. The perfect gratitude journal for kids ages four through eight. Order now and see the magic unfold. Boom, straight, straight to the point. It also has different hashtags and so on and so forth. So you don't have to worry about that. So that is an example using Twitter. Okay, so next up is Facebook. We know that Facebook is a little bit more lenient as far as, I'm not lenient, but you can add more content to your Facebook uh, page, right? Um, to promote your low content book. So let's go ahead and put in a prompt to ask ChatGPT to help us with coming up for a, coming up with a post that we can add to Facebook to promote our gratitude journal. And so I'm gonna do create a Facebook post to promote a gratitude journal for kids ages four through eight. So here's the example here, attention parents of young children, introducing happy hearts, et cetera, et cetera. This journal will teach your child the importance of gratitude and encourage positive thinking, Order now and watch your child's attitude transform with every entry. Oh, this is so great. And then it has some um, some related hashtags. So this is an example of a specific and engaging Facebook post that you could use to promote the gratitude journal on Facebook. Okay, so now we're gonna ask it to help us with TikTok promotional ideas. I know a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what can I post on TikTok? Can I get, can you give me some ideas? I'm not really sure what to do. We all know, or if you don't know by now, that TikTok is a short form uh, video content um, platform. So what I'm gonna do is ask ChatGPT to give me some ideas of video content that I can post on TikTok to promote this book. All right, so here's the prompt. Give me three TikTok uh, promo video ideas to promote a gratitude journal for kids ages uh, four through eight called Happy Hearts. And I forgot to ask that, add that. And so let's see what it comes back with. All right, so it's giving me these ideas. One, showcase the journal, create a short video showing off the Happy Hearts journal with the close-up shots of the colorful pages and kid-friendly illustrations. Two, create a gratitude challenge. challenge. Start a Happy Hearts Challenge on TikTok by inviting parents to share videos of their kids sharing what they're grateful for each day. Add some music and encourage viewers to join in on the challenge too. Oof, that is great. All right, so number three, Happy Heart Unboxing. Guys, this is, this is amazing. Film an unboxing video of a Happy Hearts journal 
Um, complete with sound effects and fun editing. Highlight the journal's features and benefits and invite viewers to purchase their own copy for the little one. <laughs> that, is that is amazing. And these are some fantastic ideas, guys. So again, just wanted to show you specific use cases of TikTok using ChatGPT that you could use to promote your products on. Okay, so last but not least is going to be Instagram. Now we all know that Instagram, there's different ways that you can promote. You can do just uh, posts, you can do reels, you can do videos. I'm just gonna focus on post ideas for Instagram. As you can see though, you can definitely go through and ask ChatGPT for video ideas, real ideas and so forth. But what I'm gonna do is just ask it, hey, can you give me some post ideas that I can use to promote my gratitude journal called Happy Hearts for Kids ages four through eight. So let's go ahead and let's put that prompt in here, which is right here. All right, so we're gonna do this. Give me three, not TikTok, Instagram. <laughs> Create three Instagram posts, right? Three Instagram Instagram posts for IG promoting my gratitude journal called Happy Hearts for Kids ages four through eight. The more specific, the better. So let's see what it comes back with. All right, absolutely. Here's the three post ideas. Product shot, share a high quality photo of the Happy Hearts journal with a, uh, with a caption, highlighting, highlighting its benefits for children. You can also use a call to action. Uh, number two is to share an inspirational quote. So share an inspirational quote about gratitude with a colorful illustration, et cetera, et cetera. And then uh, use relevant hashtags, et cetera, et cetera. And then number three, Happy Hearts community. Share a, pro, uh, share a photo or video of children using the Happy Hearts journal and enjoying the process of gratitude journaling. Add a caption to show how the journal has made a positive impact on children's mental health, et cetera, et cetera. And then encourage others to share. Boom. Another example of specifically how to use Instagram. So do you see this is really, really powerful, powerful stuff um, to get you out of a marketing rut if you are stuck. Okay, now last but not least is going to be for email marketing. Now I know that there are some people who have who are who have email lists. Um, some of you that may not have email lists. The one thing that I will tell you is that one of the best things you can do for your business, specifically with low content books, is to start creating your own ecosystem or sales ecosystem outside of Amazon. And one of the ways to do that is going to be with building an email list. Now, if you have an email list already, but you're stuck on ways and trying to figure out what you can send to your email list subbies to promote your books without sounding too salesy, et cetera, here's a way that you can ask ChatGPT for help. So the prompt that I'm gonna be using is this. It's going to be to ask it to write a three-part email sequence to promote a gratitude journal for kids ages four through eight called Happy Hearts. Now. This is pretty powerful stuff. So let's go ahead and see what it's going to write for us. Email introduction. Okay, so it's writing the email introduction. All right, so it has all of this here. Okay, so it's going on. This is really, really good. All right, great. That was email number one. So even email number two is talking about the benefits of the journal. So the first one is introducing the journal. The second one is giving the benefits of using this specific journal. And so it's writing all of this great stuff here. And then it's gonna end with a call to action, all right? So now we're at email number three, limited time offer, all right? So now it's kind of giving a more of a, um, a sales pitch, really hard sales pitch, which saying, you know, this you can get this at a limited time for this price, et cetera, et cetera. And then it's ending out the email. So guys, <laughs> Do you know how much money you would have to pay for a copywriter to write something like this for you? This is really marketing gold, right? So again, this thing has written up all of the email sequences that you can plug into your email marketing system to market your books to your email subbies just like that. So again, I just wanted to show you guys some um, pretty cool use cases and ways that you can use this to market your low content books. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, you know, tell me what you've learned below. And then also for those of you that are more advanced with using ChatGPT, I love to know below, like how have you been using it? How has it changed the game in marketing for you? And what are some other ways that you guys are using ChatGPT to market your low content books or even higher content books? I love to know below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.